Hello viewers, welcome to QTP functional testing videos. Myself Udai. In my previous videos related to XML operations, where I explained you about how exactly we retrieve the content from an XML file and how to update the content in an XML file, right? So in this video, I would like to explain you about how exactly we compare to XML file. Right. So, as with my previous examples, I will use the same uh, XML file. Okay. The content will be the same. Okay. So, uh, what I'm I will do in my first example is like, you know, I am saving the file as with a different name. For that reason, I am using save as operation. Okay. And I will compare these two files. Okay, because I am using save as operation, the content in these two files should be same, right? So, as you can see, I put uh, uh, whatever the file path one contains the path name of the first file, and this variable contains the path name of the file too, right? So. As I explained to you in my previous videos as, as well, XML will dot create XML from file. What it will do? It will load the content from that file and put it in this variable, right? In the same way, whatever the content that is existing in my second file will be loaded into this variable. Okay. So for this comparison, what you have to do is you have to use this syntax, right? Where you need to specify the object one dot compare of object 2 and this is an another object where you it have like you know if there is any difference between these two files that will be stored in this object okay so once the comparison is over it will return you some value that value is stored in this variable right if the return value is 1 then the content in both the files are same right if it is other than one the content will be different right so uh, let me execute this i put a breakpoint here right so let's see where it is going as you guys observe here it is going into true condition because the content in both the files is same it is going into true condition right now what i will do here is i will update this content okay say alto is released in say 1990 okay because as you guys observed here there is a difference in that value, right? Whereas cars will have a release year called 2000, whereas cars one file have a release as 1990, right? Because there is a difference. Now let's see how it is going, right? So it come here. Now where it should go? It should go to else condition because there is a difference, right? Did you guys observe here? It is going into the else condition. Okay. After that, whatever the difference, it is saving that difference into this path. You can sp directly specify this file path or else because I am saving this test, I am just putting like you know what this environment of test directory will do is it will place that different it will give you the test path where my test saves right in that path i am just saving the difference in xml diff file right let's see how exactly it is displayed xml comparison as you guys see this this file got created yes and see did you guys observe here there is a mismatch here okay so one file is having a content with 2000 whereas another one another is having a value of 1990 right that is how we use xml util to compare to xml files okay 
that's all in this video thanks for watching please leave your comments about this video thank you